Hi, this is Matt with RemoteStartMN.com. What I'm going to show you today is a Viper 4806 remote start and keyless entry installed on a 2011 Lexus IS350. Uh, this unit works um, very well with the factory setup. Um, what you're going to get is the lock. You're going to have single chirp on this unit with a green light that indicates that it did what it needed to do. Um, as far as your unlock goes, you're going to get uh, two parking light flashes on the vehicle, uh, two beeps on this remote, and green light indicating that it did what it needed to do as well. And um, I'll go ahead and relock the vehicle. When you're ready to use the remote start, it's just going to be a single press on the remote start button. You're going to get that green light with that startup tone, single parking light flash on the vehicle. The vehicle's going to start up. Once it does start up, those parking lights are going to turn on and those are going to stay on for the duration of the runtime. While it is running, uh, this factory key fob is not going to function for lock, unlock, or any other uh, feature that it has. Uh, so when you're ready to gain entry into the vehicle, you're going to use the Viper remote. Um, you're just going to use your unlock button. You're going to get those parking light flashes, beeps, green light. Um, what you'll do is you'll enter the vehicle. Uh, you will press the push start button two times. At that point, you're allowed to put your foot on the brake to put it in gear and simply drive away. Uh, it's a great setup. Um, it is very well integrated, like I say. What that integration is, is there is communication between uh, the OEM alarm or um, the factory key fob and the Viper system. So if you lock up using your factory key fob, um, your button on the door, um, you're gonna get a notification on this remote that's going to let you know uh, that everything's gone the way that it needs to as well. Um, Everything functions the same way as it, as it always has while the vehicle's not running. Um, so you're walking up and being able to open it up by putting your hand in the handle uh, will still unlock it. Everything functions the same way as it always has before. Um, it's a great system. If you ever want to shut it down by remote, press the button again. Um, vehicle shuts down. Um, thanks for having a look. This is Matt with RemoteStartMN.com.